this position is maybe the simplest possible and easiest possible to but it depends on uh, what level your opponent has of course uh, everyone who is watching the instructional has a different jiu-jitsu level and this position works uh, when you have uh, when you are playing against the low level guys low level guys i mean uh, we are not using the uh, world champion level as like a line but when you are like practicing with white belts blue belts maybe purple uh, against someone who doesn't uh, no <laughs> who doesn't like position themselves so so much uh, like have on the top you know because the sweep is pretty simple it's just by playing lasso grab the shim and then doing a little bump to the side you can try against black belts uh, if you want maybe you can be an expert doing the sweep and then uh, everything is about uh, how good you are doing doing the sweep or the submission so if you get a perfect timing if you develop the perfect skills to apply this movement against the toughest guys feel free go ahead but normally uh, the action those good guys uh, apply against you uh, aren't the same that we are expecting here for, from this situation so imagine we are near we have this our opening on the floor and we have the lasso Pow. right so so and we play the lasso what happened here uh if the guy is passing the guy with the knee on the floor so you can try the position so if he's on the feet we have different options we are uh feeling out feel feeling out the opportunity uh, the possibilities we could have a plane deep lasso and flow lasso so the main thing here is about how I position my half guard this is the same half guard and my lasso I have the setup from lasso so knee protecting uh, uh, his upper body his shoulder my hand on the collar and then I have this uh, half lasso half half guard I could say just one hook over the leg trapping uh, his uh, fore leg so what are we gonna do here? Uh, probably this guy uh, who is passing uh, on his knees, like doesn't have too much mobility or action or speed on the top. So when you are passing guard like this, because you like to get pressure over, drop your body, maybe you are like trying to create a different game. So it's pretty easy to hold your opponent from here. So what are we gonna do? We should uh, cross uh, like, use this uh this knee not cross but actually like keep pushing him away like as we talked before and we're gonna use uh our body doing a side abdominal can you say side abdominal side crunch. side crunch like this and grab the shin so uh when i grab the shin i should use can you turn a little yeah. so i have this a leg this bottom bottom leg wrapping his uh wrapping his leg so i can do a side shrimp side crunch and grab the shim the shim so when i get the situation so it's pretty easy for me first thing i step on his belt and i start to stretch my leg away since the beginning we are talking about move the body away and here is not different Can you turn? Can you turn? and here is not difference if i stay if i play with my body bent he's too close for my head so he can grab and he can hug my head and start to get pressure etc but if i start to move my knee away like this stretch my body i can avoid him for a little longer if I stay here, of course, uh, he will have too much time to hug my head and he will get it in, in, some, in some point. But as I'm stretching, I have enough time to grab the shin and, and twist. Twist is right. Bring, bring his shin towards me. Yeah. So he should turn his base in the bottom. So right after I get this, I just need a step on the belt, creating a solid movement. 
So if I stay with my feet in the or my foot in the air, it's gonna be hard to stretch my body. But as I have my feet, my foot is stepping on the belt, I can lift my hip up and stretch my leg, pointing my knee down. I think was the first position on the second one, we talked about how to come up from the situation. The details uh, will be pretty much the same. First thing, switch the lahivas, control the ankle, bend the body like closing the distance between us. You're gonna switch, passing the leg inside, stretching the bottom leg, bringing his leg towards my body and then grabbing the pants. So right here, even if he tries to come up, it will be hard. I have my knee on his biceps and I, I'm controlling his leg. So naturally I can find his space, hug his back, bring my elbow up and get the side control. So to increase your, uh, to use the leverage in your, in your favor, can you put place in your mat? It's about you bring his shin towards you so he can turn the knee so his base is weak to walk there. And while you are pushing his shoulder, he's falling down. Of course, you have the knee uh, putting pressure over the shoulder. So without this, this twisting or torquing, what is the best word to use this movement? Twist. Twist, yeah. If I don't twist his leg, if I try uh, pushing him away, he has a base out there, so I can't sweep him. But if I turn, it's pretty easy for me because he doesn't have base to walk there anymore. So I kill his base first and then I stretch my body to get find a sweep to walk there, all right? So, so maybe I should, uh, you guys like high high level, not high level, a high level guys. I think you can try against a black belt, brown belt. It works. I was just, I like, I like, I prefer. I always do some like, not fancy stuff, but some uh, nicest position. But this one works pretty well, right? So we are wrapping uh, the fore leg. We are controlling the collar, knee on the shoulder. We are finding space. So. We feel, okay, so we can move. This guy is not like the, the fast guy in the planet. So we can do a side crunch and grab the shin. Four fingers, this is the kind of grip I, I wanna use. I, I don't want C grip or pants grip. This area is pretty easy to grab. The shin, almost like on the top of the foot. What I do now, as I have this foot wrapping, I should bring this knee up so I'm stepping on the mat, bringing my knee towards his hip. I will bring uh, his shin, twisting his leg. Right after this, I will lift my hip and stretch my body in, in a straight line. Um, bending, coming up on my elbow, switching legs, as we know, stretching, boom, bring his foot to my hip. Switching my uh, shin control to pants control. If he tries to come up, it's impossible. What I do, I position myself a little better, finding angle, hugging his head, his head, his back, whatever, bringing his leg up, and then getting the side control. So, very nice sweep, respecting the protection you have uh, over over the knee, over the shoulder, protection the, uh, keep the protection you have, the framing you have over the shoulder. You can like avoid any kind of movement. Bringing the bottom knee up, you can hold his hip mobility a little. So you have lasso and your knee touching his hip. You bring uh, his shin toward, uh, twisting his leg so you can find the space to sweep him to his back on diagonal, all right? So very nice sweep, very effective. In the beginning, I said that just if you are training against white, blue or purple belt, you can be successful, but maybe you can be successful against brown and black belt too. Just creating the right timing and the right skills, right?